Introducing the 2021 world champion, Dominic Egeter. 19 races, 14 podiums, 10 wins, five of them in succession earlier on in the season. He's without a victory, though, since Jerez. Two fifth places and two third places from Portugal and Argentina. That's Dominic Egeter then. Uh, look at Nicky Tuli, and here is De Rossa. Uh, scoreless from the Argentinian round, a uh, race one crash and then a mechanical failure in race two. The visit to Barcelona, his most productive in what's been an inconsistent 2021 campaign. It's left him down in 10th, his worst ranking actually since the last of his Honda days, some seven years ago. Yeah, what provides the first world championship level race staged here at the Mandalika International Circuit. Race one of the 2021 Pirelli Indonesian round. The title race is over, but Dominic Egeter will remain in the class next season, so aims to rediscover his mid-season momentum. Since then, Jules Cluzel has been the form man. 2021 FIM Supersport World Championship already settled in favour of Dominic Egeter, the number 77, who lines up here from pole position. 68 points, an unassailable lead ahead of Stephen Odendahl. Odendahl hasn't yet set the 2021 campaign. We've also got the uh, team's award in focus this afternoon. Lights out on race one, the first ever World Championship race here at the Mandalika International Circuit. And it's a decent start from Federico Caracasulo, who sweeps straight across. Manuel Gonzalez going backwards. De Rossa moving through into third position. It's Egata, the pole sitter with situation where he's been picked off in the final sector or where he's had an incident, where he's had some form of drama. Five times, two seconds, one turn to go now. Rafael De Rossa, an incredibly long wait in the Supersport World Championship. His 89th start. And finally, he is a winner in the Supersport World Championship. Excuse me. Uh, Caracasula with his 20. I'm sure he's going to be keen to gun for that tomorrow. Yeah, obviously, he's the championship's been in Supersport this year, but he has been that class above the rest of the field all the way through this season. If you think back to the first couple of rounds, it was a bit of a struggle. Odendahl won three of the first four, but from that point on, we've seen the Tenkade squad really step up. But nobody, nobody will begrudge Rafael Ederosa this moment at last. He is a race winner.